Three days is too long if I get a spawn. Alright, let's go. Three, two, one. Wait for the bird to get up there. Gotta hope my machine doesn't suffer because I'm tired. I have a slight feeling it's going to. There we go, much better. Horrible. I haven't had a 41 second exit in a long time. but it's not. This works a lot more annoying than it needs to be. Eh, get up the stairs. I just had a feeling I was going to be a spider when I first played into the game again. It's just my luck. <laughs> been too, I've been away from the game for three days, it's not going to give me any luck that I want. Oops, I should have attacked Toaster. Oh, uh, great. My next fight has to be a single fight. Get a double kill here. No, it was RNG manipulation. Oh god. Okay, <sighs> I can't miss on fan, please. I knew I was gonna roll. I, it wasn't gonna be a 16. That's too much to ask for. That's a max roll full pendo. Ooh, I got a pepper up and a wicked world off that fight. Pretty sure that the uh, whisk is a Wigan weld, so pretty sure that the fan gave me the pepper up. Well, the fan had to give me the Wigan. <laughs> had to give me the pepper up if the, if the whisk gives me the Wigan weld. So.
seems to be a lot more grinding in HP1, though. And hey, how you doing? Be at 15 and six or 16 casts. All right, let's go. Been using this game are just tedious until we get to Hogwarts, and I don't like it. Yeah, the only reason there's grinding in HP2 is because I have to get spells. HP1, we don't have to worry about said spells anymore. We used to have to grind for, um... Well, the grinding used to be for Verdamilius and Incendio, and it takes twice as long to get both of those spells. And uh, HP1 as it does HP2. HP1 it takes 50 and 100 casts in order to uh, go up to duo and try respectively. And um, HP2 is 25 and 50. I much prefer. This is make a good diagon alley sweep. I never expect to save that minute anymore, even if I have a good burrow. text done. I didn't, I split a little bit late, but that's okay. Alright. <clears throat> so I already have a pepper up coming into here. At least one pepper coming into here. So, any more is perfect. Well, I need at least two going into. Uh, toads, frogs, whatever the hell they're called. I can never remember what anything is called in this game anymore. I just sort of go with it. Should be a kill. Yep. Oh, I don't think it could be a kill actually.
turns out I should heal there. Yeah, we'll just heal in here. It'll save me a couple seconds. I need to do it now because I'm gonna forget otherwise. Do it. I healed health, I didn't need to. One more 19 roll does the trick here. Good. So either roll of my Vermilius will kill. I want that Wigan World back. I'm hoping that Harry levels up. Sure you get three slots in the folio contact. I actually do not know. I've never actually filled out the uh, entire thing, so I don't know. And if I had, it's been so long since I have. If you'd asked me about 10 years ago, I would have been able to tell you. Was it 10? No, it wasn't 10. Uh, probably about 8. If you asked me about 8 years ago, I would have been able to tell you. I don't know, maybe 10 is right. I don't remember anymore. Point is, if you asked me a little while ago in my life, I would have been able to tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> You're asking somebody that doesn't remember. <clears throat> I probably is, to be honest. I could actually ask somebody because someone in my in my the chat for us is uh would know more about it than I do. Yeah, it would be. Okay. Oh, wow. Nice start. Need a 17 roll or higher roll. Uh, it actually doesn't matter what he rolls. I don't know why I keep saying rolls that he needs to hit. I just want my better world record. That's all I really want. And I haven't been getting it. It's been really annoying. really annoying. I had two runs on about two days ago that should have had it. Two runs in a row that should have had it. And they both faltered at the end. One of them was my fault for, you know, doing too much stuff at one time, but the other one, it just didn't want to go. <laughs> and I hate when that happens. Ooh, that would've been bad. That would've been bad, too. Okay. So, 19... Or no, 18... Um... Let's see, I went into... There with, uh... When did I get with 15? I got 5, and then I got 2. So I'm at 22 and 18. Uh. I can't not kill.
know where we're at. That's like impossible. I just need three pepper ups for school. <coughs> Zero roll, please. That was a mid damage roll for him, too. Was that Vermilius? Okay, that means I counted my Vermilius cast wrong then. I'm gonna check to make sure, though. Oops. Yep. That was my Vermilius. Interesting. Mid range crit. No crit, please, Sirlon. Thank you. Alright, so we're at 20. I hate how long this part takes, though. I wish this part was, like, just done. So if I don't level up, I get it with this next set of pepper up. Oh, I got the drop from the rat then, from earlier. If I had four. I need to get faster my menuing in the potions menus. Okay. So two more, uh... Vertimilius cast. And I should be able to get both of those in this. As long as Ron doesn't crit, of course. Do a 17. Ooh, I wanted the 17 roll, so we didn't even have to worry about Ron having to get a crit. I knew. I. I, I know these things. I just do. <laughs> I want to guarantee this is my Vertimilius casts, so... I think that does. I'm pretty sure I count my Vertimilius, right? Alright. This should level up Harry as well. I'm gonna go heal anyway. Let's go. Don't want to pick up sickles anymore. Ooh, bare minimum. That's always good to see. The range there is between 100 and 199. I have never seen 100 in a, one, in a run, and I've never seen 199 in, in this game. I've seen 199 in um, HP1, but I've never seen it in a run. First time for everything. Alright, so with good luck, I will only be in the red uh, by like 30 seconds. Unless this fight goes, just goes horribly. Which it could do, technically speaking. It likes to do that sometimes. Especially when I'm trying to do really good in this game. That's a roll we didn't want to see. We need to see a uh, 
Uh, it doesn't matter actually what he rolls on Harry because that means the next attack of his stun kills Harry in one hit. Ron has a chance to live a stun since he's at 53 health. We need a crit. Okay, thanks game. I hate having to use my revive there, but I get it there for that purpose, and that purpose alone. So I don't have to reset 20 minutes into a run for no reason. Alright, let's get out of here. We won't be in red until I think we see the text from for lo uh, Grip Hook. Yep. No encounters, please. Yeah, it looked fast enough, but jeez, I hate having to use my revive there more than anything. Using my revive on a fight that doesn't need a revive anymore, that shouldn't require a revive. Huh. I basically caught it within 30 seconds. So. <clears throat> that means I have to pick up the one in Hagrid. So, but. Hello? I have the one in Haggard's hut when I go to, uh... Do slugs. No. Not anymore. They used to be, yes, but not anymore. Um... They're actually not really safe for any fight anymore. Um, revives aren't all that important anymore. They're just there for, s for as a backup. Hey, <laughs> <Not> rotten. <laughs> um, but the revives aren't needed anymore. Basically, they're there just like I said, just to make sure that I I don't lose the run anymore. I could technically go the entire run after uh, sap without revives, and it would be fine. Since you've seen an HP2 run, you're gonna be amazed at the ending then. I would highly suggest you go watch my new PB. Just something really quickly. Alright. Remember when I used to play every single mini game? I feel like I've been away from this forever, but it's really only been three days.
let's have a... Let's have a good womp. Come on, womp. Don't be sucky. For the and for those that don't know, I'm officially signed up for Potterthon. Yay me! So I'm the only person running GBC, of course, because I'm like <laughs> pretty much the only GBC runner. I'm the most well-known GBC runner, which is weird to be known like that. So, um, uh, I didn't try to see who did the Harriet level? Okay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just weird to be the most well-known of something. I'm not normally the most well-known of anything. Like, if you knew me in real life, I'm like one of the most relaxed people. That's why my chat is always so relaxed, because I don't really care. Generally, you get two warnings in this. I'll, I'll, in my opinion, I always get two warnings, unless you're a spammer. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, I normally just so I'm just normally super relaxed and don't like having attention upon myself. And then of course it's like, well, why then why did you put yourself out there? Because I like playing games. <laughs> I mean, I've been asked that before actually. You grew up with this game and not HP1. That's actually the same thing with me. Um, I started playing HP1 four months ago. <laughs> and I have one record in that now, too. But, um, since I'm going to be in Potterthon, I have to do no reset runs to get into the mood of marathon strats. So, one of. Uh, I think it's next week. Yeah, next week I'm starting uh, no reset percent. Uh, for HP1, which is gonna suck, but I'm doing it anyway. So yeah, HP1 gets a, uh, gets a new reset week, HP2 gets a new reset week, although I don't really fear a new reset week for this game, because it literally is, the routes are, are different for HP1 between marathon strats and non-marathon strats. But for this game, there is no difference. I'm literally doing the same exact strategy as I'm doing here, so it would basically be another world record attempt. Just with some saves, I guess. I would save here and there, instead of trying to go all out with it. <coughs> I still have to completely plan out the uh, HP1 everything. That's going to be the hard part, is having everything prepared just in case. Because this game I know how to adapt extremely well. HP1 is sort of like... I know how to adapt because I've played it enough. I've actually never played it casually, to be honest. Um, but... Eh. Um... Which is kind of funny. I've actually never played a game of spe I speedrun casually before. This room looks a lot different than HP1, by the way, for those that don't know. Well, <laughs> I know Rotten knows, I don't know if, uh, if Wins knows. Alright, let's go talk to that painting, because we need a baby spider, all things. Wow, my controller just sort of like, eh, you're gonna go this way now. And the only other thing I need to do is have a good herbology. Which is pretty simple, at this point. Did 
yeah. The castle is just ginormous in HP1, and it's really annoying. Which is why I wonder why it's so fasted in this game. By 11 minutes in real time. And it's just scarily stupid. I don't like it. But then again, I'm so used to HP2 that... What does it really matter? <clears throat> I wish that there were more... more, more I wish that were there... I wish that there were more people that speedran this game with me. <laughs> there we go. I had to, like, force myself at each word there. Next hit kills no matter what. Unless, well, not no matter what. Next hit should kill. <laughs> there we go. And that was a max roll. For Vermilius Uno. I don't have any Wiggle Wall Grands, so I need to... Heal health. One. Okay, I need 33 or 30, 33 or higher in damage here. Uh, I do Vermilius Uno or Duo again, which means it can't do zero. All right. Um, I am terrified of not hitting this roll that's coming up here. If I don't. Uh, if I do a zero roll at all, I'm, I have a really high chance of dying. Really high chance of dying. Especially if he crits me. Okay, one roll. No zero crit. Oh, crit. Just crit. Okay. We're good. Oh, we're even better now. This kills. Sweet. Let's go. This should level me up, too. Yep. Let's get out of this place. I love how I have a few frames to actually move in another direction. 31. Ew. 34, please. I had to get a max damage roll in order to kill it. Oh, of course it crits. I'm not going for max damage roll, because it's a 1 in 3. Okay, so I need to heal health and magic. Because if I'm healing health, I might as well go ahead and heal magic. Using a little bit of time on the split. Basically four. Not great, but not terrible either. Because I am using up a pepper up, I might as well go ahead and pick up this one. Although I don't technically need it. Yeah, I know. I don't really like falling in the red either, but I don't really have much of a choice. The game does what it wants to do. That loses me... Five seconds for this split? <clears throat> five or seven, something like that. <clears throat> so I can't save all 27 here. Unless I have an extremely good uh, Quidditch Plus sat fight with no encounters and not having to pause any. Well, I had to pause, so never mind. I had to have basically two crits. <clears throat> two crits kills. No, it doesn't, never mind. I'm just kidding. Two crits does not kill right now. Not the level I'm at for sap.
I might even have to have ma would have to have two high high roll crits. And I think at this level her max roll is 39. So technically she could roll a uh, 79. 79 is her max roll, her absolute max roll. Um. <clears throat> then there's Harry, whose max roll is like 33, which means his absolute max is 67. 67 plus 69, or plus 79, uh, is not 175. So, yeah. Even two max damage, even two max damage crits from Harmony won't kill it. What am I talking about? That's 175, not 155. I really need to memorize, re, re memorize everything's health because I've I've kind of forgotten things since I don't look it up every day. We're healing on Quidditch once Quidditch is over. So I think that'll be fast. Bad placements. I have to walk an extra couple of frames to the uh I barely saved that. Alright. <clears throat> so now for the fun part of the run. Probably one of my least favorite fights of the, fight of the run now, too. Eh. Oops. I'm pretty good at Quidditch. <laughs> It's my favorite game. It was um, when I was really when I was younger. My first couple playthroughs, my first ever playthrough for this game. After I unlocked Quidditch, I literally played Quidditch for like 30 minutes every day. It was pretty fun, actually. Quidditch is my absolute favorite game between both games. Even though it's the probably one of the most RNG <laughs> oriented uh, mini games. That's still my favorite. Okay, I'm picking up this revive potion because it's like a dire need. Especially for this fight coming up, if it doesn't go well. I, I, I know I've said this at least 12 times on uh, on stream before, but I really need to check to see if this is the fastest way to get through the uh, garden. I am not used to HP 2 spheres of... Ooh. I know, at this range, Hermione's max... Uh, roll normally is 40, I think. Yeah, okay. So I mean, she can have a max of 81. Need a crit, though. That would save me so much time. Just don't freeze anybody, just attack Harry. Or freeze Harry, that works too. Crit, Hermione, crit, crit. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Never mind. That was a Hermione level, which is a good thing, actually. Since Hermione leveled, I don't have to worry about Harry's health. At least I hoped that was just a Hermione level. Are you kidding me? I pressed A game. Wow. What a dropped input that was. <laughs> okay, so once the, uh, the... 
I know I can never, the hourglass pops up at seven seconds from there. So I'm gonna save about a second. Yep. We're in the light red, guys. And I have my free revive potion. Need any more pep routes for us to run? I don't know why I picked up the one after herbology. It was completely unnecessary. <coughs> Let's go. You guys look in this world record hype. <laughs> I don't want to do the KD thing here, like this part of the run, but did it during slugs. is Nick Skip. I hope, wrong, I hope Locker doesn't go wrong again either. That's the first time I've gone back-to-back -back runs where I've botched Lockhart. I've never done that before. There's a first time for everything in Harry Potter speedrunning. And I am no exception to that rule. Even though I may be the best, quote-unquote, I, uh, you know, I'm still prone to having accidents. Alright, come on, next skip. That should get it. Alright. I don't understand why it's only like three pixels that I can walk on that skip that entire dialogue, but I'll take it. Here's my elite broom skills. Oh man! And then that was me not recognizing where the snitch was. Wow. Okay, that could have been a little bit better. But I've never had two Quidditch matches in a row where I've gotten the Quidditch first try. So that's okay. Got the they got the snitch first try. Wow. I can't even talk. Can I even HP, bro? See, today is Wednesday? Yeah, I got Burrow Skip as well. I, I almost always get both skips. Actually, I haven't had a... Uh, of course, I'm not saying anything, never mind. I always jinx myself whenever I say things. Technically, I haven't changed myself for HP 1 in a long time. And I've said it, I've said the same thing about it like 20 times. But then again, I only get like 3 runs. I've only ever gotten like 3 runs since I've said it to Hogwarts. So, in this game, I always hit the Hogwarts unless I die to Footman, which I haven't died to in a long time either. Which I'm actually surprised about, considering the fact that, uh, that used to be one of the major run killers. Bowling hype, everybody. Uh, 
Ah, uh, lag. Stupid pin. HP1 runs start again next week. The first day, I'm doing um, war record attempts, then doing no, pr in, eh, no reset. The strategy for bowling is to go for strikes. Other than that, I don't really go for any pins. Strike save a, sp save a roll. We'll see, if we go for the one pin at the very end, we have a chance to not hit any pins at all, which I don't want to not do, be I don't want to do because that wastes, uh, time. Like, I used to do that, I used to only go for edges. But it turned out to be slower because, um, there's not, there may not be lag when you hit pins, but there's lag when you roll the ball. And the lag when you roll the ball is more than the lag than you, that you get hitting pins, sometimes, most of the time. So, or it just feels that way to me, because I'm always staring at the game. That was bad movement. <coughs> All right. Yeah, it is. Alright, come on, get through this text, guys. You know I hate when this... I know I, I hate when text takes this long. Yay! Even more little light red. Oh, my time save for last segment is the exact amount of time I can save for this segment. Boomy. I'm never going to save that four seconds. Okay, so... See how much good movement I can get? That's the question. And that's not any of it right there. I forgot that was a slight hallway there. Not bad. <coughs> I really need to put a uh, split between Myrtle and Polyjuice. Because having a 20 minute split is really annoying. I've said this, I've, I don't know how many times I've said this on stream either. I know I said it to myself at least 12, at least, well, at least 12. Yeah, I know I said at least 12, because I say it almost every day. I should have walked up a little bit. That's alright. No, I should have walked during cutscenes, the better. Obviously. Because Harry moves slower than, uh, you do with him. Oh my gosh. My movement is showing its rust right now. My three days of rust. It's coming back to haunt me. Oh wow. 
That was the av that was the max range I could have hit her text box for. That's crazy. It also shows you how much of the technical crap I know about this game, and I don't even know any coding. I can tell you the max range I can hit a text I can initiate text at that really shows something. I'll show you how to play this game way too much. I let go, I don't know why I kept sliding. I guess they actually start coming to stops when I start doing things like that. Yeah, that's good range, I guess. Yeah, that's good range. I should be able to go straight diagonally down right. I don't know if, you've, if you guys have noticed, but I think the biggest part I take pride in is my menuing slash uh, movement when it comes to this game. HP2 is just, or HP1 is sort of like, if I get it, I get it. I just sort of have the presence of mind to get the menuing in that game now, just because I'm so used to it in HP2. But the menuing was so much different in that game, it's in the wing, actually. So I don't have to buy revive potions because um, I have two and I don't need any more than two. Which saves me a couple hundred sickles at the end of the run. Which is I can just spend it all on Wigan Well Grants. I don't know how fast this move. I don't. I never know how fast my movement is until I actually complete something. I can't, can't even give you an approximation if I'm going to save any time or not on this split. I would assume I would save at least a second or two, but I can't. I couldn't tell you until I get there. Vile car autograph. You know I hate that man so much. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you easy fights. <laughs> I wish. Well, he always gives me an easy fight. It's just can I can I finish the fight myself? Because that comes down to my execution, not his. He never gets to attack. I should buy the autograph of Lockhart and um and give it to Aragog, and maybe he won't be mean. That's what I should do. This possible time save, though? It's an instant kill. <laughs> I like your way of thought. So I gotta buy some Wigan World Grands on the way down to Crab Oil. My eyes. <laughs> Alright, come on, good movement, please. Hello, game. God, I sometimes I wish that getting the Dragon Skin Cloak wasn't so necessary. Because it's literally like. It feels like so much side questing to get to it. 
And it is a lot of side quests to get to it. Alright. <laughs> My first difficulty pass is like... It's what, 7 seconds to start it? About out of the way in about 5 seconds to get what I need for it, so... Quest. Which one is that? The band quest. Okay, that part of the thing. Oh, here he did level up. Crap. Um... I don't know. I mean, why do you need a flashlight? To take it to the Muggle Studies classroom. You're talking about- you, you were talking about part of the side quest, not the entire quest itself. Um... I don't know, it's just kind of stupid. Yeah, if you talk to him again, it can crash the game. I actually never tested that. If you talk, yeah, if you talk to him again after you, uh, after you get the thing you need from him, it can crash the game. Well, no, it can't. It not only can crash the game, it can actually corrupt your save file. From what I've read, I've never tested it myself, so I couldn't tell you. I should probably do it one time just to see what happens. Not during a run, of course, but... Like, I'll probably do like an all... I'll not, like have a save state there, just to show what happens. Alright, come on, let's get sub hour catch. <laughs> this should be really simple to do, actually. Teleport around the room. Oh, that's cool. The finish out is deep. <laughs> I wonder why, though. I like wonder what happened. What in the code makes him do that? Is it three spooky five me? Is that how bad it is? So I took no damage so far, which is good and bad. Gotta be one, gotta be one with your instruments. <laughs> it's five spooky seven me. Okay. I want to play around with it then. It probably crashes the game because he goes so far out of bounds that it corrupts the data. Maybe. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put a save state there and see what happens at some point. And I'll put it on stream because I think it'll be fun that way. I think it'll be more fun having more people watching it. For a second I thought I was going back to Quidditch and then I realized I literally just got out of, out of Myrtle's bathroom.
Okay, so the question is, how much damage do I want to take? Well, the, I want to take like 80 damage before going into this next fight, but I'm not going to hit encounters on purpose. If they're in my way, I'll run into them, probably. We'll see. I just need a fast Draco fight, and the only way he can kill me at max health is with a crit of Expelliarmus or, uh, uh, Incendio Duo. Which actually looks really cool in this game. I preferred in this game as opposed to HP1. That was really slow. And neither one of them attacked Harry. Thanks, game. Just thanks. I'm hitting no more encounters now. Cause that was just stupid. It takes it literally takes a crit from Draco to kill me now. Expelling Armist will kill with a crit. Really high chance of it. Actually I don't think there's a world that could kill me if it, if it was a crit. text in the game, right here. So Draco becomes a two-turn fight, which... That's a funny for me to say. But if it was a two-turn fight, then I would save time, because my PB it was a four-turn fight. I think. It was a four- or five-turn fight, and that's a Skype notification. that I can't check. I'll see you, man. You can just put me up in your class, you know. I don't think people would mind watching a speedrun. I think they would much rather- I think they would much rather watch a speedrun than do class. So like just took me up onto the monitor or something. Anything kills me now. Literally anything kills me now. Three turn fight, that's actually really good. All of them landed. Yes, Calc, Calc 1. Yeah, see, people don't want to be in there, I'll tell you that. Especially Calc 1, nobody wants to be in there. Trust me, I was in Calc 1 last, not last semester, two semesters ago. Nobody likes being there. See, they would, much, they would much rather watch a video game where someone beats it quickly. people. Where on earth do you go to college? <laughs> you do one of those bigger places. Oh, cool. 
One of my friends goes there, actually. One of my best friends goes there. You probably don't know her, though, and I'm not going to disclose information on the stream. <laughs> the hunt is on, please don't. <laughs> She'd probably kill me. <laughs> she would find a way to come find me. And if the hunt was on for her, the hunt would be on for me. So, she doesn't like people, like, knowing her, I don't think. Like, she has a very small... Point is, you know what I mean. People. She's one of those people. She'd be like, who the hell are you? And you'd be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. And you'd be like, and, well, first of all, she'd be like, who? Because there's no way that... She doesn't know that I do this, so... <laughs> See ya. Oh, dude, he's not here during Christmas. That sucks. So when is he there next, then? Uh, I don't know. I should open up a menu in there before. She must have been taking a rest. <laughs> Alright. Here's how it's done. <laughs> Alright, time to die. Again. So it needs to be a lot faster. Which it can be, actually. A lot faster. If I knew how to manipulate this fight for me to die, I would do it. Alright, good start, kind of. I need a double expelling armus on, uh, somebody. Critical. Expelling armus won't kill Harry this turn. Okay. I don't know what kills Harry at this, at this range. Just kill Ron. Please use Vermilius to, uh, you know. That's okay. Okay, now anything kills me. I think. Of course! That 1 HP, though. Funny me, it's fun to be able to multitask here. Alright. I perfected my timing there. Let's see. Oh wow, that that fight went below average. Cause I only have about four minutes. Get all this done. Drink the blood. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saving all two minutes and forty five seconds here. I'm just not. 
I'll save some of it though. I will save a good portion. I will be in green after the split, we'll put it that way. Because if I'm not, then that means I have horrible movement. Or I'm really bad at video games, one of the two. I still have no idea what the best placement is for this cutscene. Yeah, everything about this segment was pretty bad, I guess. Yeah, let's get out of here. I want to be up to the first floor before I'm more than two minutes ahead. Or not, not ahead. I mean, by my sec by my live segment, don't we? Overall. If I move faster, I can do it here too. save here then. I still have about a minute to save on this game. Oh, that's so annoying. The problem with me, um, <laughs> I know how I said that I was going to go for a raid if I will record. The problem with that is that nobody that I watch or would want to raid runs this early in the day. And I'm not raiding somebody I don't know because that's weird. So we don't need to take any more damage, that would be amazing. First off, if, if he ever found her, that'd be for, that'd be the weirdest part. Then the next weirdest part would be uh, talking about that because then she wouldn't know. First off, doesn't know who he is. Doesn't know who SMP is because she doesn't know that I stream that I play video games for a l <laughs> and she also doesn't know my online alias. And then yeah, but that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I would. I'm not gonna lie. I would have to see that though. Like, I'd have to have a picture or a video or something of it. I think that'd be hilarious to see. But the point is, th I think the most important point right now is that we're back in green. Nothing else matters right now. Full traffic in the other color. 
I'd have to get eight. I'd have to get gold though, and that's really hard. You're asking me to do something I don't do very often anymore. But I will try. I can only do so much. Quidditch 4, on top of all of that. Make the impossible possible. Don't let my dreams be dreams. Just do it. Get crit poison. <laughs> if that was a thing, you have no idea. If there was a way to level up a spell without having to, uh... Cast it a ton of times. I would, I would use it for literally just that spell. That would be the only spell I would use. The spell upgrade on. Wow. Grip pricing equals resets. <laughs> Game is dead in one run. See, there's like parts of me that want this game to be dead, but not be dead at the same time. Like, I love this game so much that I don't mind running it. I don't mind struggling for a PB. HP1, I would want to be dead as fast as possible. Not gonna lie. I want that to be dead like, today, but that's just not humanly possible. <laughs> if, but like I said, if there's a way to level up spells without having to cast, I would do that. That would save me a little bit of heartache, actually, because it would be doing 20 damage instead of 15. I've been thinking about it, I really have, like, a lot, for AGDQ, and as much as I really want to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Like, first off, I'd have to, I would only be able to run at the end of the week, then I had to get there. I mean, there's just so much stuff, and on top of that, it has to be accepted, and I don't think it would be accepted. That's just my honest opinion. This is this is like one of those really obscure games, I don't think. But I mean, on going with if it did get if it did get accepted, I don't know how long I'd be able to I don't know if I'd be able to get there. Like it's close enough to me to where it wouldn't be a huge deal now, but I'd have to uh, rearrange stuff that happens at that time, like literally Potterthon. The reason why I'm able to do Pyrothon is because it happens exactly when it ca when it happens. It happens exactly the exact moment it can, and it's allowed to. But AGQ is in that one week where I'm half where like half of it I can't do anything as much as I want to be there, and then the other half I'd have to basically get home. I'd have to pack, and then I'd have to go to AGQ. I make excuses just being serious. I mean, I would love to be able to go. If nothing else, just to be able to be there. <laughs> but, it's not really a thing. So then there's always SGGQ, which is also dependent on where that's actually at, because I don't remember where SGGQ is. And 
if I can't get it this year, well then we can try next year. I mean, until, SG, until the GDQs go down, I have a chance every year. Speedrunning, I think, is going to be a thing for a little while. Alright, so web. I need a run break free. That didn't happen. Okay, I need Ron to break free. Or attack Ron. Ron break free, please. No, just attack him. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. It really gets on my nerves sometimes because it's so dependent on me being good at pressing buttons at the right time. sort of thing right here. I can just like go to a spot and uh, get to where I need to go right away. Overall, okay Aragog. If I hadn't broken that chain I would have saved, I would have only lost a second, but it's not that big of a deal. Doesn't outspeed me. Good. Counter loses me about that time. That time also also comes from hitting that one encounter before or when we were in the uh, dungeon. So I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so now we. Just have to not screw up Lockhart. I don't mind losing time, as long as it's not like 10 seconds or something from now on. Just because, as long as I have a good Lockhart, like, as long as I don't screw up Lockhart's chain, we're fine. Although I will try to do it again. I will try to do the chain again if I mess it up. Truth. Can I do a good chain?
Yeah, I'll take, like I said, I'll take the time loss to ensure that I save, that I, I don't lose the run. I hate having to be quiet during the chaining, because otherwise I lose concentration. It's not like HP1 where it's super simple for me to pick up on. In HP2, it's, it, there is like, that timing and it's annoying. so far during his cutscene, it's insane. <coughs> Jensen Cloak is already equipped. Aren't here. You ever thought about anything else to run? I have. Of course. They both faster than me? Oh, that's annoying. I need to heal now. I have thought about running other things, but I want to get these games to the point to where I just want them done. <sighs> I think I thought about running Pokemon. I don't really feel like running Pokemon. The only one I would want to run is Crystal, and Crystal takes forever to get a run to start. Um... Yeah, gotta kill the game completely before moving on, basically. And that's why I switch between HP1 and HP2 as much as I do. It's because I need to take a break from one- I need to take a break from this one. Starting next week, so I don't burn myself out. That's a terrible start. It's an even worse start. Attack me. Okay. Don't attack the bird for one more turn. Okay, so I have to heal, then I heal poison next turn. I'm trying to imagine out of nowhere once he's starting to run a shack. <laughs> to be honest, if I ran a game, I'll run it for no reason. Like, I started running this game for absolutely no reason. I really did. I had no reason to run it. Other than the fact that I felt like running it. Don't attack the bird, please. The bird needs to last two more turns at the very least. And do damage. I can't heal the bird's poison, unfortunately. Okay, so any hit on the bird kills it. Bird needs to land. <sighs> if he kills the bird, I'm done. Coming down to the wire is an understatement. <laughs> All I had to do was land on a hit. I had to land one hit. One hit. One hit. One hit game. I just need one of those. <laughs> I was far enough ahead where I could do that.
TV. I know it doesn't feel as good, but it's still a PB, nonetheless. A horrible PB, but a PB. This is, um, well, that's not true, but this is the second smallest um, amount of time I've saved for a PB over the entire course of this game. My largest is 21. Oh yeah, he would, oh wait, he <laughs> if he ran this he would be so pissed off at getting a PB like this. I'm not like Worcester. I'm more like Inop. This run sucks. Because <laughs> it does. I'm way more like Inop than I am Worcester. I have more patience. Wor I get my patience from Worcester. I get my attitude towards running from Inop. I get my patience from Pokemon speedrunning, period. So. 13210 19 second PP 